no challenge is to place as many items as possible from the red tote into the, the uh, pod in front of the robot, the brown cardboard pod. The pod is divided into multiple bins. Um, the bins themselves have 28 items. The tote has 12 items. Points are awarded for each item from the tote placed in the pod. Certain items are more difficult to pick up and therefore earn a bonus for. Uh, bonus points are also awarded for placing items or stowing items into more crowded bins. The more crowded a bin, uh, the more points you get as a bonus. Um, if there are penalty points taken away if an item is dropped uh, or if an item is placed into the wrong place or uh, if an item is damaged or hanging out of the pod. They're still setting up, so I'll uh, hand the microphone over to a member of the team to talk about their team and then we'll get going. Hello, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, this uh, competition we are participating for the first time. The collaboration between UCS Innovation Lab and the uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur from India. We are very proud to be in this particular competition. Uh, and uh, you know, it's a, a, a new experience for us. Uh, to let you know something about our system here, is that uh, the showing task, actually we started working after the SIP, our consignment to Amazon Picking Challenge Store. And uh, you will see that we will be mostly relying on uh, uh, image processing, that is visual based perception, which we have developed using uh, machine learning, uh, like techniques like deep learning. And also we have, uh, you know, uh, use a lot of uh, uh, smart inverse kinematic algorithm, path planning, and particularly some heuristics to make our uh, operation as fast as possible so that we complete our task within a few minutes. So thank you very much, and we hope that, uh, that we do well according to our expectation. Thank you very much. Ready, we'll go over some last rules. So, um, so one major rule for the participants, um, the sensors for the robots, as you know, are very light sensitive. We ask no flash photography, please. No flash photography during the competition. You could throw off the robotic sensors. Okay? Um, first question to the team, who is in control of the e-stop? Okay. So you need to be on the e-stop at all times. If you see the robot moving towards the person uh, or the pod tilting, I need you to hit the e-stop, okay? Um, you'll have 15 minutes to complete the stow challenge. Stow as many items as you can from the tote into the pod. If at any time you wish to reset, you'll call a reset. Who's going to be in charge of that? You as well, okay? Uh, if you call a reset, stop the robot immediately. We will score you as far as you've gone to that point and uh, record that score. Uh, we'll then set everything up exactly like you see it now. So we'll reset the pod to time zero, we'll reset the tote to the same position as it is, and then we can start again and try a second run. We can give you the entire of your two scores, either from the first run or the second run. Penalty, the price for a reset is one minute of time. So if you call a reset, your total time for the two runs is 14 minutes, not 15. Understood? Yeah. Everyone okay? Uh, on this side, this robot's off, so it won't be interfering with your pod. Once we, I'll give you a, a countdown, three, two, one, go. Once we say go, we'll ask you to step away from your computers, or at least don't, don't yeah, yeah, we'll that sort of yes, thing, yes. right? Uh, so that we know you're operating autonomously. And again, just a reminder to the audience, uh, no flash photography. I'll inform you about um, timing. So I'll give you the start, and then I'll tell you at five minutes, at 10 minutes, and then with two minutes left, and one minute left, okay? All right, I'm going to hand this to whoever wants to talk. You can talk during the competition. Oh, you still need to wait until it starts? So define, so get ready means get ready. So you need to be ready now. Or, so are you scanning? <laughs> Okay, but you want to move the robot. Okay, if you want to move the robot to the start position. No, no, that's all right. Yes. Start, start. That's all right. Start from you. Okay, start. Okay, go ahead. Okay.
You're all set? Yeah. You have 15 minutes starting. Three, two, one, go. Now this uh, uh, MS processing is done and Bonnie Book has been selected. Okay, okay. This book will be put in the bin K. Bin K has been selected. Because it is a bigger object, so that is why we have taken to the lower bin. Next vision processing is done. Ah, cryola has been selected. The object has been correctly picked up by the robot. And the pin E has been selected. Processing is done. The roast coffee, all the classic roast coffee, that has been selected. Robot is going to pick it up. This will be because it's a bigger object. So, the business in area is being gay. So the image processing has been done. The next object has been selected, which is the bubble mailer, which is at the bottom. I'm 
Because of higher sensor, it recognizes that it has not picked the object. It has come back. Five minutes are out, ten minutes are back. So next object that has been selected is baseball. Just pick up. If you go to the designated area now, build field.
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ten minutes are up, five minutes remain. So the next uh, object has been selected as bottle grass. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
Six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Stop the window. Let me roll that.